My name is Ngabo Nankonde. I'll talk to you about how Zikta is utilizing um, opportunities at exhibitions to disseminate information to the general public and consumers. Um, we are at the Agriculture and Commercial Show here in Osaka, and we've interpreted the theme uh, as such, effective regulation of the ICT environment to enhance development. So what it is is that we just want to emphasize to you about the role of Zikta as a regulatory body in the contribution to development. There are various um, projects that we're involved in, but the most important um, development that is happening this year is the review of the licensing framework. Zikta, in collaboration with its various stakeholders, is actually reviewing the licensing framework. We publicized um, uh, this development and we actually had a stakeholder um, forum at which we had the various participants in the ICT sector as well as other um, interested parties who came to discuss the possibility of reviewing this framework. The new framework once approved will enable more participation by the Zambian community in that the license will not be a national license in the area of mobile phone um, provi services provision. One would be able to have um, a district or a, uh, a provincial license. In that way, we'll have more participation from the people of Zambia and will actually uh, excite uh, more job creation opportunities for the various uh, stakeholders in the various parts of the country. This is something that we know will contribute towards growth because we are managing the environment in a very effective way by looking at regulation and moving with the times. As you may be aware, the ICT sector is a very dynamic um, sector. It's one of the most dynamic uh, sectors in, in, in any nation. And this has made it possible for us to try and move with the times so that we have a converged license that will enable other participants to come in without being restricted to providing services at national level as has been the case in the past. That has only attracted big entities who have a lot of money to spread across the whole country in providing ICT services. But with this new development, we'll have Zambians providing ICT services in terms of voice and data. In fact, it will be possible for one, to, to pr provide voice um, services with a data license because to be a converged license. This is what we're doing towards developing um, the economy and developing the ICT sector in particular. Zekta has also identified that we have the youth as the biggest users of ICTs. So you find that most of the initiatives that we are implementing now concern the youth. We have the ICT, Young ICT Innovators Initiative where we've been attracting several youth with beautiful ideas to submit them and attend workshops where the knowledge base is enhanced. What we've done this year is a step further. We have actually created what we're calling the incubation program. We, submit, we called for submissions from young people with beautiful ICT ideas and we had over 100 submissions. Out of the 100, we have selected about 17 who are going to go through this incubation program where they'll have access to finance help, financial help, they'll have access also to technical assistance, they'll have mentors who will help them, they'll also be taught how to patent their ideas. The, the, the idea is actually to turn these ideas into business operations so that these young people will also be able to create jobs for their peers and also develop the sector and the economy at large. So you see that Zikta's role in the sector is exciting in that it's dynamic. We are moving, we are changing the regulations to suit the environment. And we will see that whatever the situation, we are fitting in by bringing in new initiatives that will contribute towards enhanced growth. It's been five minutes with Zikta. We are happy to continue disseminating information to you. Please keep watching the space. Thank you.